Hello there. Now, I should imagine by now you've broken your New Year's resolution of going to the gym every day. So, I thought I'd make this week's video all about creating a home gym. Now, I completely understand not everybody just has a room floating around that they can make into a workout room, but if you have got a spare room, have a think about how that could become your workout space. So, for example, if it's full of junk, it can be very therapeutic, clearing it out, and a workout in itself. However, if you haven't got a spare room, how about just a corner where that could become your exercise zone? Now, it needs to be somewhere where you can leave all your equipment out though, so have a think about that. I have a few tips on how to make your activity spot really efficient, and the first one is all about greenery. Now, statistics show that if you exercise in green spaces, you're likely to be more motivated, but also to have a better mood. So, whether it's plants, indoor trees, they don't even have to be real, so you don't need to worry about watering them all. Just have a couple of real ones in there to help with the carbon monoxide levels. Think about colour. I have two yoga mats. I use my red one for more active workouts and my cream one for doing yoga. So think about what kind of mood you need to be in when you're doing a workout and what colour is going to evoke that and try and get that into your space. It's common knowledge that if you really focus on the muscles you're exercising, it's going to be a more productive workout. So you don't really want distractions like watching TV. However, I do have one in my gym and that's because I like to watch workout DVDs, but you may just need a space for your phone or for your tablet. There's another reason though. Now, I like my toddler Bonnie to watch me exercising every day as I want her to have a passion for it from a young age. And I must admit, the only way I can do that is to plonk her in front of a Disney film like Moana. And also, it does come in handy if I need any extra weight for some of my exercises. Light is also really important. Now, obviously, best case scenario is to have natural light streaming in from the window, but if that's not possible, it's worth investing in a sand light that will help not only your mood, but your motivation. Now, for yoga and meditation, you want lower lighting, so getting a dimmer switch will help, but I don't think you can beat being surrounded by candles. If you're like me, you may have got a little bit fed up of seeing these motivational quotes on plaques everywhere, but they do have their place. So I've got um, a load of postcards that have different messages on them, and I put a different one in front of me for each workout. And you'd be amazed, it really does make a difference, even if it is a little bit cheesy. And a furry cheerleader is an optional but desirable extra for your home gym. So come on guys, let's get working out at home and make this the year we actually get rid of that muffin top and those bingo wings. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>